Welcome, guys, to the chase today. Uh, looks like Reed is just about set up there. This is the area for today. Yeah, there's Jordan and Reed. Let me let me just throw to them.
Whoops. Reed's still talking. Yesterday, where that tornado formed right on top of us, the occlusion was right over the Dominator 3. They measured microbarometer data, infrasound data with this. He was standing outside, too. Yeah, yeah standing outside. <laughs> intercepted as it passed just north of us and we were able to go east and then got visual of the tornado at maturity just off to the north of the field a couple hundred yards to the north of a powerful tornado jordan flew his drone captured an amazing drone video of that tornado brian is working on the masterpiece edit too and that edit will probably be deployed in the next in the coming days maybe even tomorrow but we got too many storms to chase today southwest oklahoma Heading east, probably east southeast. If I ride that boundary, even toward the Ardmore area by eight or nine p.m. We have three chase teams out there today. It looks like Brandon is on board too. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> right. So as Reed's saying, we have three, uh, three. Ch Three teams here on the ground embedded with them trying to bring you the uh, full experience of chasing and as you can see we have this supercell surrounded uh the ridge riders are down here we got brandon Kopic right here and team dominator coming in all the way from georgia with a uh, crazy overnight drive uh the day after another crazy overnight drive reads Talking. Let me get out of the way again. Here, Oklahoma City, dew points are just starting to rise up around 64, 65 degrees.
Okay, guys, so I'm just going to kind of set the table for today. This is the warning area right here. Uh, yesterday, there was a big red area over here, and that's where Team Dominator was. Uh, and here they are now uh, in the area. You can see this yellow box here is just around. This is the severe thunderstorm warning that's just around the area that uh, Reed was just talking about. And if we look at storm itself, let's see. Come on, where's the uh, radar? Let's go to this. This is the storm that Reed is talking about right now. It's just by Lawton. He's looking at this velocity feed, not this one. He's looking probably at this one. Yeah. So that's the velocity feed that Reed is looking at right now. So Lawton and uh, anybody in this, uh, the warning box here, I get into your safe place. Uh, I'm going to jump back to Reed in a second. But yeah, one more time. This is the area. This is the area, and um, we have several teams on it. So uh, back to Reed. Big chunky hook right there. 250 bucks. There's the hook echo wrapping all the way around. Big, nice inflow notch as well. Just we could just do like wow. a non-exclusive five wow. if you wanted. Here we go. Sounds good. We are in traffic, but yeah, our yeah, plan yeah. is to try to get. We might be able to get it at Marlow. We're going to head toward Chickasha and then drop south. We're 35 minutes from Chickasha and we're maybe about an hour or so from Duncan. And then we're going to be on it. We got the subsonic going. Not sure how the tornado potential is going to work out today. I think that storm needs to drill down to that boundary that we've already identified. I suspect that if that storm does not reach that boundary, then it may be more of an elevated baseball size hail producer, incredibly destructive storm. If it's able to get to that boundary, then I think we're going to have and be in business for tornado potential. If this thing can just absorb that eastern cell and become one dominant cell, and then this hook wraps around the backside and latches onto that boundary, even though I don't really believe in the latch process, that could also be a potential outcome. We're, we're in track on the south side of OKC, Highway 240, but the Ridge Riders are on it right now. Probably getting their windshield blown out. I still like that back circulation, even though I believe. 
Uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna bring up the audio for the Ridge Riders right now. They've just sent me a message that they'll be intercepting soon here. So we'll go full screen on the Ridge Riders uh, once they get closer. We'll keep an eye on uh, Team Dominator. But again, we have this supercell surrounded. Lawton, uh, be wary of this storm for sure. Um, it's diving just southeast. Um, and let's, uh, let's go to the Ridge Riders for a few. Couple of lightning strikes there in Norman. A little complex today. We'll make it through. Uh, but just know that, uh, you know, if things are happening, we have our eyes on it because we have the best chasers here. So here we go. We'll go to, back to the Ridge Riders. <laughs> no! Out of here. We hide, we hide. Chill. We know. Sirens. Oh yeah. That one behind us just goes ballistic too. It looks like it's. This is a storm. This is a storm now for sure. Are we on stream? Uh, yeah. We are. This is really wrapping up, guys. We gotta get southeast. Got in the two notch. of them. Right now we can't see any tornado. The hail core's blocking and we're trying to get south and get a visual. Unfortunately, we're getting cut off. South to Geronimo and then we'll have an east. Yeah, we're going to have to get south. A lot of inflow. A lot of inflow to this. Yeah. Look at the velocities. I know. Jeez. This could produce a strong tornado very shortly right to the east of Lawton. Here's a look at where they are. <clears throat> uh, and so they're right on this here. You can see Team Dominators up here closing in as well as Brandon. Um, we are, uh, uh, if you could do us a favor and, and uh, we have 7,000 people in here over that and, and barely 2,000 likes, 
please uh, do us a favor and hit the like button and uh, consider sharing this. Um, you know, we got the eyes on the ground here. Uh, so it helps us to get the word out. And by you hitting the like button in these things, we get recommended more. So uh, we appreciate it. We're going to come. We're going to keep our eyes on these guys here. Uh, hopefully their signal comes, uh, comes back soon. And those in Lawton uh, and uh, Central High, Duncan, get into your safe place. Lights, no. <laughs> I know. I forty four north of Biden. Just all those cars are getting smashed right now. What is happening? <laughs> what are those? Those fall off a truck. Just keep an eye on behind us in case it finally gets in flow. Yep. Looks like there's some stuff trying to merge into it. I have, well, I have an eye on it right here. Yeah. It looks trash. This other one's gonna be our storm, I think. Yeah, we just got, take we gotta out get ahead of it. It's taking them. Yeah, we will. We have time, plenty of time. But it's easy. We have to get around some of these days when we can. I think that was our last light. Yeah, once we get to Geronimo, we should have a perfect road east, right? Good, nice paved road. Yeah. Nice. No, maybe not a paved road. Get on this, guys. I have a visual of the base sort of through the hail. Don't see anything. It says tornado warned. It's wrapped up in rain too much with rain and hail. Wrapped up in rain and hail, making it very challenging.
the dust. How do I not have service here? I'm in the middle of Lawton. I got service. What's the velocity look like on this thing? Check it. No land spout, bro? No. That's just rising dust. It's not a land spout. Velocity just looks kind of broad right now. Nothing super tight. Okay. It's waiting for us. It's not good. This, thankfully, this is moving out of the Lawton area. Moving out of population. Headed towards Duncan, Meridian, Comanche. Very dangerous supercell right here. Very dangerous. 1.9 miles. Uh, let's bring up Reed and then see where they're at. Actually, yeah, let's bring up Reed. They're just going to lose it on the windshield and the flying saucer hail over there. <laughs> we'll be coming back to the Ridge Riders. Pick us up and carry us out of this traffic. Everybody's like, it's storming, let's go. So I think that damage is probably mostly baseball hail. Yeah, it looks a little bit diffuse. I'm not not seeing. I'm, I'm not seeing a. Uh, there might be a little bit of a hail signature on this. That's just clear air. But I'm not seeing a definitive tornado. You could definitely get wind-driven baseballs of that. 80 mile an hour winds. This storm right here is spitting out the most insane just strobe lightning. Yeah. And it's striking the same spot like eight times every time it does it. Wow. Evan Bentley just posted a video of it. Norman too. It's like <laughs> of the lightning? Got the he watched that same bolt. Oh wow. He recorded it, yeah. These are all positively charged. We'll see. Once. Right up here, but it is oh yeah, it's a storm now. Look at all the lightning. Yeah, it's spitting them out. It's right on that boundary too. We're on this lightning producer that is just on the north side of Norman and it's just producing insane strobe lightning right now. I wouldn't be surprised if this one develops into a hail producer too. We're right on its base. There's the base of this thing. Right over the South Oklahoma City Metro. Looks elevated to me. There's no Ooh, there it is! Wow. Wow. Strobe it out. We had something lifting straight up out of these trees. Wow. What was it? are going straight up right here out of the trees. Trees. It's windy there too. So this is where we are, right here in Norman, watching this lightning machine, lightning factory, and we're on our way to this storm in Duncan, which it'll be in Duncan in less than an hour. It'll be in Duncan in like half hour or so. But we can always go east out of Bray, out of Marlow if we need to. Yeah. That's where you actually or even do south toward Lindsay through Blanchard and Lindsay. But yeah, let's rip I-44 to yeah, Chickasha and then south. This is ripping bolts. Come on. Oh yeah. trying to pull in those easterly winds, east of Lawton. Very windy here. Yeah, 
We got an I-44 Ripper. Just not ripping up I-44. Yeah, that is not a good one. There it is. You're looking at. We're out near the airport, southwest side of Oklahoma City. You've got an elevated updraft pace here. It looks like a majority of the up the storms have been quite elevated so far. Maybe that tornado worn one down here. Lawton is trying to become surface based. Just a lightning machine out here in South, o South uh, OKC Metro, Norman. Oh, yeah, we're watching it. I've heard of those reports of damage in Lawton too, but I don't know if that's tornado damage. Probably hook damage. Yeah, people are hiding underneath overpasses, it appears. Down in Lawton with that big hail producer. Still spitting out some back here. Probably Midwest City. Looks elevated to me. That's it? Yeah. 10 minutes ago, it definitely looks elevated. It has a clear slot on it though. Oh. Elevated means that its base is a little bit high and that it's elevated above a shallow stable layer. So when you have a stable layer at the surface and storm develops over top of that stable layer, it can still tap into the instability aloft, but it usually means that the tornado threat is a bit lower with that storm too, because when it's elevated, it really requires a lot of dynamic piping to drill through that uh, stable layer at the low levels and at the surface. producer down there. They got a tornado warning, but it looks like baseballs mostly. Yeah. I've lived in Oklahoma for wow, all my life. I've been in five of them. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Never stop chasing. Yes. relatively smooth laminar forward flank but a lot of times when it looks turbulent like that it's also a sign of an elevated storm a bit turbulent but very large hail expecting gorilla hail on this severe thunderstorms back behind new mesoscale discussion for Dallas Fort Worth too storms are developing Down northeast of Abilene, too, out near Albany. Cherokee is a nice looking storm. 
tornado watch goes all the way down and when you're using a radar that's so far away from the storm you can kind of see what it's doing above the ground and you have a ton of hail near Lawton and it's kind of pitching off that lead storm just a little bit. base here. It's elevated above a shallow stable layer at the low levels and then you have the updraft base above it. Yes, we do. Ah! Wow. Wow. Someone's got struck by lightning, folks. I was right there. I didn't see where it was, but I was looking down and I saw the flash and I blind that for a second. You just tell immediately that it's just close. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Still good for Duncan? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to be a little slow though, but we can at least put barrel into the back core if we need to, but you know. Let me see. Yeah, I think we'll be fine on Duncan. It's still northwest of Duncan a ways in the Marlow area. I wonder if this thing's going to start producing hail soon, too. It's producing some pretty good lightning, I'll tell you that. What? It's just getting rocked. Just round after round of hail. You got a big updraft coming in on the backside that's probably going to impact Lawton. Our plan is to drop south out of Chickasha, punch through that core. Ideally, we'd already be in Chickasha though. <laughs> yeah, I do. We, we may want to type in Velma. V E L M A. It might take us too south. Yeah, we'll probably want that. How long is the drive to get down there? Hour 20. Okay. They extended the severe warning. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just have to do it. Yeah, yeah traffic kind of set us back here. We have some hail producers developing over the South Metro with a lot of lightning. Welcome to Newcastle. and then you're 
anticipated the sound? Yes. Wow. There wasn't much time to No, there wasn't. I still, most of it was before I plugged my ears. <laughs> Did you see it? No, I just saw a flash and bam. I heard that tss. It was right out the window. Alright guys, our plan is to drop south to Velma. Hi there! Dropping down to Velma, Oklahoma. We're going to try to get in the path of that storm and it looks like it's going to be severe. The severe thunderstorm warning has been expanded off to the east. So I think that that one's probably, uh, I don't know if they're going to extend the tornado warning or not. Looks like it might be more of a uh, extension of the severe thunderstorm warning. But these are here just to the west of Moore. Even though these are elevated storms, they're dropping a lot of hail. This storm right over the radar site is also elevated. You can see that they have elevated bases here. Incredible lightning though over the South OKC Metro. Yeah, we've only been stuck in traffic here for like an hour. This is still tornado warn is gonna pass just to the south of Central High. But I know that this is elevated, and anytime you usually get a turbulent base like that, it's difficult to produce. It may try to happen right about there, southwest of Central Highways. But I'm pretty sure that this whole entire thing is quite elevated. And it's turned it into a blob. A lot is just getting blasted right now by big time hail southwest of Marlow, and we're about to punch into this. The Dominator 3 just eats Gorilla Hail for breakfast. Baseballs, softballs, doesn't matter, does it? It does not matter. This thing just eats big hail, so you'll want to be with us when this thing surges in. Classic large hail producer. Looks like this backside might be getting a little bit better rotation, but I think that's just convergence. But it's possible this back one could get going out here. Lawton. We're trying to get it to, from Velma to Loco, so we're dropping south right now. Dropping due south to intercept the storm, but looks like the severe thunderstorm warning is what's going to get expanded off to the east. All right, we're going to jump to uh, Brandon Kopic for uh, just a couple of minutes here. Got quite a view. in there. directly behind us too. That's why we need to get south as soon as we can.
Thank you guys for those of you that are saying bless you because I know it comes. All right, guys, we are continuing east right now. We're about to hit 44 and book it south um, to stay out of this precip and get ahead of the rotation area. Oh yeah, big giant wall cloud. Big giant wall cloud. Look at it get kicked out over there guys. Look at that. Oh, we may have a mezzo in there. I sent you the uh, stream link again. I don't know what you had. <laughs> I've got an amazing shot of the front of this storm, but I sent you the... Okay. All right. I was like, what in the world is that? Yeah, you've got it now, so... Yep. I, I don't know either, but yeah, I, just sent, I sent it to you again, so... All right. See you, buddy. Yep. Bye. large wall cloud. Look at this, guys. This thing is a dust churner. Oh, and it's tornado worn now. It's a confirmed tornado. It is a confirmed tornado in there. I don't see it, I see dust, but there is a confirmed tornado, guys. This is now a confirmed tornado in that dust. I think I see them. So we're going right back to him, but we just wanted to get this out. So that's a confirmed tornado on this storm that is Headed towards Geronimo, so Geronimo, Walters, get in your safe places. Uh, we have another tornado warning just popped up over here now. Uh, that's Duncan, so things are starting to accelerate. So Duncan, Velma, Loco, Ratliff City, Tatums. Uh, pay attention to the storm to get to your safe place. Uh, we're going right back to Brandon, but that is, uh, uh, this is uh, how things are developing already. If we zoom out, we see a couple more storms up here. Another storm going on out here. So here we go. Well, I see the mezzo. The mezzo is definitely right next to us. It's just intermittently on the ground.
says it's about to go right over the top of me, I just don't see it. Make sure you guys are smooshing that like and subscribe button. Uh, we're about on the outer edge of the, the mesocyclone. We got a blast south right now, guys. We are in strong, strong winds. We may be in a tornadic circulation right now, guys. The trucks are probably about to flip over on top of us. Just flip my uh, light. Big tornado, sir, tornadic circulation right now. All these trucks are trying to bail south. We're getting out of it now. Oh my gosh. Strong wind, strong wind. Oh my gosh, these trucks are about to go over. Right behind us, guys, right there. You guys can see it. Right behind us. We almost got caught up in the circulation there. I wish I could clean the lens, but I can't. We are still in strong rear flank downdraft. Right behind us. an I-44 right now. Whoops. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. We're going to jump to the Ridge Riders for a second here. They got quite a view, too. Tighten up on radar. This thing's about to produce. Not Directly to our north. Green, 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 green. I really need to blast here. Alright, you got about five. We, we, we can always turn on a dirt road if we have to just get set. Yeah. you can't I was, I was thinking you could take a back road and get south well, it seems our chasers are behind each other so we have uh, Brandon Kopic right in front there and then the Ridge Riders are right behind him so they are on it and the map is not updating properly but we'll get it fixed that fixed that's uh, that's our fault 
right, let's go back to the uh let's go back to the ridge riders. I mean, if you want to get straight south here. No, we have to get the wall first. He's got the punch through us. Okay. Why is it still red? Dude. We would have been able to outrun it too to yep. Walter. We still can, but. Jeez. Intense RFD. A lot of rotation in front of us. Wow. This thing's base just dropped like crazy when I hit that. Tight rotation right in front of us. Rapid motion above us. Rapid motion right above us. Might get some hail here soon, wrap it around. Intense RFD! Wow. Crazy RFD cut here. Looks like a cycling again. Just gotta get the wall through the dive. Man! Rapid rotation on the right. Oh yeah, just to the right. Rapid rotation. Intense RFD cut, guys. Getting blown all over. Might get some hail here. Trying to blast out of this. Trying. Just trying all, all around here. Lots of different areas of spin we're watching. Oh my gosh, this wind. Jeez. It's hard, it's hard to tell. This exactly. is 60 to 70 mile an hour RFD. Wow! Oh my crazy man. Be spinning up. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a really broad base. Rapid rotation on a broad base. It's on the right. Make sure we're not in this thing. No. It's possible. <laughs> new circulation to our north. Is it is there a new sir? Man. On radar. This is intense. Intense RFD! 60 miles an hour, at least. Alright, um, your south road. Main camp. Can I go straight east through Walter? Yeah. You can go, I mean, you can go south at Temple. Is that what yeah, you want to do? Yeah. All right. RP uh, nuts. Yeah. Hey, once we get south at Temple, we might want to get on some back roads because there's another one of the construction zones. Okay. But I'll, I'll tell you when. Should be a couple miles in the turn. Be a 
motion up there is crazy. My north, It'd be just to my north. I don't see it. All right, your road's in a, about a mile and a half here. South? I don't know if I want to get south. I just wanna, there's a big lake near um, Corum, so I uh, keep that in mind. North of uh, Temple and Hastings, there's a big lake. Look, it's grabbing up to the north. Fast, on velocity. Right now? Yeah, way north. Wait. Way north, we have to get out of this RFD to see it. Debris! Whoa. Debris! There we go. RFD debris. That's how intense this RFD is. Man. Look, tore rapidly developing to the north. On velocity. I see it. Oh yeah, he just used to Geronimo. Yep, rapidly developing tornado. More intense on me. Yeah. Gotta get through this town. Right to our north. Yep. Gonna be the reason why. If you're not. Gonna go get out of the way. Why are we doing five miles an hour right now? You should not be on the road. You should pull over and be in a safe spot if you're working on it. I'm trying to get south and you're impeding me by doing it less than 20 miles an hour. I don't know what ripped off the top of my car, but something did. Mezzo's right here to our left, guys. We're getting caught in precip now because this guy wants to do five miles an hour. All right, we're going to jump back to Reed for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on these other streams here. Uh, the Ridge Riders, uh, Connor and Ben, and Brandon. It's getting closer to that north south road. There it is, right there. East-northeast of Perryton, only a couple of miles. Jeff Petrowski's already on it. The breeze signature, even. Freddie McKinney's on it. Canadian has 
extreme moisture up there. 89 over 69, Perryton 75 over 62, so there's a differential heating boundary. Look at that, drops into the 50s up in that area behind it. 58. So very good dew points. guys I've not been able to watch Chad there is some sort of piece of my vehicle that got ripped up by the RFD but Right, so you heard that from Brandon there that there's a tornado down in the town of Duncan. It's observed, and this one is heading at 28 miles an hour. So if you're in the warning box, obviously get into your safe place. It's headed towards Loco, which will be there in about 30 minutes. So please be aware in Loco. Uh, and again, we have this other storm over here uh, that is also. A uh, tornado observes here. So that is uh, Walters, Hastings, Addington, and Warica. Uh, and as we zoom out and uh, we get a view of all our chasers, um, we're, we're on it. 
So Team Dominator is coming down from the, uh, you know, the north as this storm moves. I'll animate it a little bit. So they're coming down from the north to cut it off. And the Ridge Riders and Brandon are both sort of to the, to the south of these a little bit. But um, we'll keep an eye on them. Let's go back to Reed. Looks like a rain. this core 
near Duncan. Look at all the tornado warnings here, including the one in Comanche to Loco, which we're going to be trying to get as at 30 miles an hour. We're almost there. We just got to keep pushing. Probably be about 615 when we're actually gaining visual of these storms. Woo! Nice lightning strike there. I'm gonna build calluses on my hands after today, I think. Oh, yeah. But yeah, just because the parents and tornado looks small does not mean it's weak. A lot of times, the fully compact vortices can be the most intense, and especially those tornadoes that are all the way down to the ground below a relatively high base storm, it requires an even greater pressure fall to drill all the way down to the ground. We are going to be punching through the core. This Dominator 3 will eat baseball and softball size hail. We're obviously not worried about that. Cutting it right down to Velma and then probably southwest of Loco where we have that new tornado warning that's been expanded off to the east. We stayed up all night again last night, so we're just happy to be within range and getting on the tornado warn storm. It was very difficult going from near the Florida border all the way back here. Thankfully we got Brandon Kopic, ChaserWX.net. The Ridge Riders as well that are delivering streams and are on those two tornado war storms down southeast of London. Baseball hail, softballs, brief tornadoes so far have been the story there. And it's heading toward Loco and Comanche, getting near safe place. The only damaging tornado that we've really seen so far is that one in Perryton so far today. Interesting carrot-like tornado, but definitely the northern vortex starting to dominate with the Perryton storm. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, Brandon's stream is going nuts. He's probably in some of that 80, 90 mile per hour RFD rear flank downdraft.
able to get oh, get whatever it is up top that got messed up. Oh, oh look, cows. So you heard you heard them say uh, the name Fujiwara a couple of times here, and uh, they're talking about a Fujiwara effect. This is something that happens sometimes. It famously happened on the coal tornado that Reed intercepted earlier this year. So it's it's basically when there are two rotations or two you know uh, circulations. Sorry, it's easier for me to show on this. So there are, there are two areas of rotation, basically, and they influence each other. So they, they, instead of having sort of normal storm motion, uh, one is pulling the other, and they're... Basically, that, that's what they're dealing with. They have very uh, difficult... We've got a blender downstairs. I want to see what happens with this Fujiwara. 
and then we can drop. Okay, I think it's almost time to. How far? Away? I gotta look at how far we can. How far away? We, we get are. there in an hour. It's coming out. We us. can get there in an hour. Yeah. This is just an HP mess now. We finally have that super soul food you are trying to have. It. So we want to get towards Wichita Falls area. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It looks like the storm in the north is just stable. So it has that deep. That was neato. Maybe the driving just ripped the freaking trim off the roof. Might not be perfect.
I didn't see any reports of anything on the ground up there. As we're going to be jumping in mostly with Reed, but you know, since they drove from Georgia all the way here to Oklahoma, you know, they're, they're not in 20 minutes, they're going to be in the position they want to be, but you know, Reed would prefer that we favor, you know, Brandon and the Ridge riders. So we're giving them a, you know, a larger, another platform here. Uh, so we will be, you know, it'll mostly, <clears throat> you know, it's still Reed's stream. We will be mostly with Reed, but you know, as we're waiting for uh, Team Dominator to, to get into position, we might as well go to these great chasers who have great visuals. Uh, and so, um, you know, we're 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 figuring it figuring it out. We're feeling it out. And um, back to these great visuals. Small sized hail reported less than a mile from my house. Utility poles down and a report of a roof blown off a house in Washington Township. Uh, well, the location on my map is over by um, over by Rain Tree Village. Right, right. So if you end up driving by the house, you know, let me know if you see anything. I'll log, I'll log into the cameras and see if everything's good at the house. I'm sure everything's fine at the house. Yeah, she's she's in Oklahoma with me. Yeah, I gotta hop off the phone though. Bye. All right, I'll talk to you later. Love you too. Bye. Yeah, I can go east.
That Warrico one is getting tight though again. Is that RFD right that's zipping the hook down there? Is that our middle one? The southwest one. Should get a Red River Ripper down there. So we got two circulations, one just southwest of Velma, and then this one just in the south of Warrico. So the two areas of interest right now. Too. Hit with both, both, Ben, both. Don't even focus on zooming in. Get, get it with both. Horizontal, horizontal. I got you. Tornado's on the ground still. On the ground. All right, let's get east. Let's get east. Yeah, I can't. We have a good view. We have to stay here. In a minute, in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. Still, still, on, the on, the ground. Ground. Yeah, still on the ground. Yeah, still on the ground. Still on the ground. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Keep filming that, man. I'm trying. Keep, keep, it's hard. Keep on filming it. Whatever you Tornado on the ground. Still, still, still on the ground. Yeah. It's still on the ground. It's still on the ground. It's trying to condense. Massive. Guys, get out of the way. So the Ridge Riders and Brandon are both on trying the same to rip right there, guys. Here. Trying We're to gonna rip. go to Brandon. Right over top of us, right here. Just to the right of the road. Or the left, excuse me. Right there, it's on the ground. It is ripping big time over there, guys. Whoa, don't do that. Come on now. What the hell is going on here? Wow. Come on, we're good. Look at it rip right there, guys. Come on, we gotta go, guys. We gotta go. So this is the the Wairika storm. Wow, a lot of lightning on it too. Um, Brandon and Connor of the Ridge Riders, they're both on it, but this is that storm right here, Warika, and there's a new tornado warning for it, but we just saw that this did reach to the ground. It probably it very well may do so again. So this this is uh, everybody in this warning box, get warning box, get into your safe place. This is outside of Warika. It's headed to Leon, Sugden, Ryan, get in your safe places. This thing is ripping up there. Tornado on the ground, tornado right in front of us. Suction vortex on the ground. It's on the ground right in front of us, just across the road. Suction vortex just planted on the ground. Within a quarter of a mile of us, suction vortex. get much closer because if this plants it's going to plant on top of me and I don't want to do that. We're almost in the mezzo right now and that's about as close as I want to get. Why is this chaser doing 100 miles an hour in the passing lane? 
it's on the ground. It definitely is on the ground. It's just not fully condensed, guys. It's not fully condensed. Oh, there it is. There it is, right, right to the right of the road, or the left of the road, excuse me. Another suction vortex on the ground. Wow! It's on the ground, right there, guys. It's on the ground. Tornado on the ground. Suction vortices. still right above us. Oh, big funnel coming down, big funnel. You guys see that? Big funnel wrapping up. This is going to be RFD. We're on the edge of the circulation. We're all right right now. Some strong RFD is about to hit us. It's okay. on that one but it's the only visual I can give right now guys suction vortex wow beautiful suction vortex beautiful suction vortex guys my goodness I had to fix that top camera right now power lines down Planting a big one right next to us. Either that's rain or it's a wedge. Lots of rain wrapping around the circulation. RFD's coming in hot. Dang it, that was rain wrapping. Gotta get further south. Gotta get south? Okay, I can't get you that too. What do you, uh, what are you thinking? Um, thinking east of, uh, east of Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, right, perfect. We can, do that. we can do that. I got it. All right, we're gonna have a road in 4.3 miles. It's our closest, closest okay. one. All right, that's fine. I know, dude. I look, I look to the left, I go, hold up. Dude, I think they had it. I can 
completely HP. Yeah. I think Topic had it. I think, yeah. Topic had it, that's why they didn't switch. I think they had it when we saw it in that field. Yeah. I zoomed in on the board seats, sacrificed uh, my own footage. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. We got it. The Wichita Falls one does not look great. Does it, is, it, is it getting ingested with dry air, you think? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. See, it's going outflow, right. it's going it's going RFD outflow dominant again, but it can always wrap up like it yeah. just did. Right? Mm, yeah. Especially as a low level jet's gonna strengthen. Yeah. Great intercept right there. Huh. Dropped right in front of us. Yeah. Let's go. Didn't hit anything either. No damage. The perfect kind of tornado. Weak, broad, and quick. No damage. No damage. Had uh, the the funnel never condensed, but had vortices in the field dancing around. Nearly condensed right in front of us. Almost condensed. Tried to. Still a couple on radar. This thing may still be on the ground. Hard to say. No, we're we're like two seconds away. Alright guys, we'll be back in position here briefly. out of Ryan here shortly. We're out of the precept. Now we've got to get back east out ahead of the storm. Let's uh, let's take a minute to s zoom out and see what's going on overall with the day. Again, this is the this is the warning area. This was the uh, the moderate risk area for the day, and you can see how uh, almost neatly all these warnings are now organizing inside of them. It's because the SPC is very good at what they do, so. Our chasers are on this storm here, or this. There's a couple of storms right here, so you can see there's there's one storm, there's two storm, there's kind of three storms, four storms here. Um, they are all congealed if we animate them. Oops. 
Actually, let's look at them on velocity. See, there's an area of rotation, another area of rotation down here, and there's lots of tornado warnings going up. But anyway, um, Reed and the team are closing in here. Uh, Brandon and Connor and Ben of the Ridge Riders are on it too. You saw on Brandon's stream, I don't know if you guys saw that, but there's a little filament funnel in the bottom left side of his screen. Um, so he did see that touchdown there. Um, and so we are so far uh, getting a pretty good view of this storm here. We're going to, while there's a storm cycle and the chasers reposition, while we have a couple of minutes, let's throw back to Reed. Um, yeah, and here we go. Ed is trying to wrap up and occlude. Look at that circulation just to the west of Loco by a couple of miles. Right now we're going to the mill, going through the rain here. We'll be punching through. All right, breaking up a little bit there is Team Dominator. Uh, let's go to the Ridge Riders, the Young Bucks. Like, like I was, you know how you have to search up? I like would not load to search it up. <laughs> so I just wanted to, I tagged you, I uh, oh, okay. added you in the, Yeah, I tried, sorry. No, 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 chill, chill, chill. <laughs> I was like, not that deep. I was like looking it up and I'm like, oh, it's not gonna load. I'm like, I should get this out. You'll be calling Brian. Brian Brava, tornado. Can you hear it? I 
<laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> what is happening? Wow. <laughs> Yeah, we, well, all right, guys. We gotta get south of the Red River. Try to get. Thanks for the heads up that we're on, Brian. Yep, try to get. We have to get south of the Red River now. If we were to go straight east, the Red River would block us off. We wouldn't have a view, so we're banking on this thing, waiting to cycle until it gets south of the Red River into Texas. The thing is diving southeast along the warm front, and we're also monitoring new development off to the west. Uh, there's another supercell developing back by Wichita Falls that we're monitoring, and if this gets too HP, too messy, we may go drop back off to the west and get on that one. I don't think I don't think Reed or Brandon is on that one, so we're going to stick with this one for now, and then we might drop back west as the low-level jet begins to kick in. That's our plan. Uh, is this headed towards DFW in the long term? Uh, yeah, long long term it is headed towards DFW. Yeah, long term, these, this dangerous complex of supercells is heading towards the DFW area. Uh, the dew points just south of here are 75. That is extremely, extremely thick air. Extremely moist environment, guys. Dangerous. 91 over 75. Dangerous supercells here. Heading to a good environment. Oh, my bad. I'm shaking like crazy. Come on. There we go. We're better. That's really... That's hooking again. Is it? It's maybe about to produce again, guys. Right it's along trying. the Red River. Trying. What about velocity, Ben? I have no uh, visual right now. We yeah, have the, velocity's tightening up again. It doesn't look like anything's on the ground, but... We had the drop south, guys. We can't get a visual so we can get over the Red River. Red River. If we go east here, our chase is going to be... It's going to be tough to get back on the storm. Right. All right, so zooming out, and uh, if we animate this a little bit, you see these storms are headed towards... This is the Red River right here. This this river right here. Um, and so that separates, if you're unfamiliar, the Red River separates Oklahoma and the great state of Texas. The great state of Oklahoma and the great state of Texas. Um, so these storms are diving southeast, and so they're going to jump the river. Um, and so what the chasers have to deal with is they can't just easily follow it right right across the river they'll have to deal with you know uh, maybe they have to go over to 35 maybe there's a couple other crossings here but it, it limits their ability to to follow it so what connor is saying is they're starting to look at this cell that's going up just to the west of wichita falls here as well um, and he's wondering what uh, the other chasers are doing too. If they're going to go with a similar strategy, as I understand, they're going to they're going to do what they can to stay here, stay on this cell as much as possible. And he was also saying that this complex of storms generally is headed toward the DFW area. Um, so let's see if we got. Uh, let's see. It looks like Team Dominator's coming back too. So let's go to them. Just on the southeast side of Loco, that's where the circulation is. You can see that spinning all the way around on it. That's the circulation right there. We're going to blast south here in a few miles and be right inside of this thing.
jumping in while the signal um, writes itself. Um, and just so everybody knows, in the description we have the uh, we have all the information for Brandon and for Connor and Ben. Uh, so make sure you follow those guys; they're great chasers. Um, you won't regret it. Well, it seems like everybody's in a bad area of reception, except the, the Ridge Riders here. Looks like they have a good view of just a little bit of what we call Mamata's ma ma clouds. They're not the most visual, but they're there. Let's, let's check them out and go back to them while we wait for uh, the other streams to stabilize, too. Or does it hit the front and go, go crazy and then ride it? I mean, if you want to go, if you want to, if, if you want to take a risk. I'm not opposed. I think I'm kind of 50-50 on it. So I'm 50-50. So if you have a, if you have more than a, if you have yeah, but I don't want to sell the chase. We could easily oh. sell the chase, or we could make the chase. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a tough it's a tough dilemma, right? Like who's to say that thing doesn't just pick up the warm front and go ballistic? We could head, we could get there just in time for its boundary interaction. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up to you because I'm fifty. I honestly don't I honestly don't have a have a way. I'm fifty fifty. Better thermos back there. Yeah, a lot better thermos. 
I wonder if this moves east in the worst thermos. I, I mean, know. The, the air's still juicy. That's not the problem. Yeah. We're in a dilemma here. We could keep going south, or we could keep following this northeast. Uh, it has a history of producing tornadoes. Still looks pretty interesting. Might be wrapping up again right now, but, or, that's in the core, so, or we could drop west towards this new cell near Wichita Falls. And the warm front is actually crashing south from the outflow from this storm. We talked about outflow a lot yesterday. And when that new storm interacts with that warm front outflow boundary, it could either go ballistic or it could just go north of the front and die. And so we could gamble and go back west and get on it. And it could be storm of the day. Or we could leave these storms, that one dies, and then we look then we look dumb. So dumb because this one goes and produces <laughs> then a bunch. We look dumb. So that's yeah. our that's our dilemma. I would stay on this one. I, I, know, on. I think I think I think I'd stay on this one and then and then evaluate it later. But I want to be there for its boundary interaction if we go for it though. It's not weakening. I know. But it's not necessarily blowing look, up look either. Like, like it, once it interacts with that, you just, yeah. Let's go ballistic, dude. Let me check satellites. See, yeah, yeah, see yeah, what yeah, the yeah. see what the tops tops are looking like there. It's really skinny. That's, that's my only thing. That could be thing. good. That could be good, but like that's my only thing. It's so skinny. Yeah. If it ingests too much dry air, it's just gonna die. Right. <sighs> I'm gonna leave this one up to you. I don't know. Some of the other ones that tried to form south, like did the, had the had the had the fate of dying. So see that? Yep. This one could just be the furthest north one to do it. Let me look at meso analysis here. It's a tough call. I think. I mean, it's not. It's not the environment that's the problem because I think it's gonna go southeast. The shear is yeah. gonna ramp up and it could go ballistic. It's just I don't know if it can sustain. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's right. It's right by the surface low too. Right on the surface low. Yeah. A little look, look at the bowl. surface level developed to the north. That's why these went ballistic. Yeah. You have back surface one because we had a new surface low. Yeah. I don't understand everything they're saying. I get a lot of it, but I don't understand everything. All I know is that this is storm chasing right here. This is like very, very difficult decisions a lot of the time. I mean, like 30 times a day, but this is boil. This one is really boiled down. So let's see what these guys go with. Sure. 20 spreads. 20 spreads. And this thing's wrapping up. Which the storm. Our storm. On. Want to try to get east and intercept it again? The problem is it's so it's not moving south anymore. It's so far. This one's blowing up. It, let's go for it. Let's do it. Want to risk it? Let's go for it. Why not? We already intercepted a tornado on this storm, right? Yeah. We can get the best true. of both. Let's do it. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Yeah. Let's you want to do? It. You want to go for it? Let's, let's do, do it. it. Yep. Let's do it. This one's let's messy and on the Red River. It's gonna, the low level jets, yep. if, if it can sustain itself, the it'll go crazy. Yep, we just gotta hope that it latches to the warm front. <laughs> that's that's set, gonna be the. Now, if the warm front goes <laughs> and like it crashes right. through it, get, it's over. Get me to holiday. holiday. We are going west. Holiday. We're gonna go west. Holiday. Nice. We're gonna go west here. Uh, there may be another tornado on the ground near the Red River right now, looking at velocity. That storm that we were on may produce again. We are going to gamble and go west to get you guys a visual of a completely different storm. Could be a great decision. Could be, could be very the, bad. Could be the worst decision we've ever made. <laughs> or I've ever made. I'll take responsibility for it. Where am I going? Dave, you think, um, hold it. Okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> Give me, I need to that. Dude, my phone's glitching out. All right, just this way. Right. All right, here we go. We're going west. Right. We're on that storm in about 45 minutes. Going west. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the sustainability, but it did just start to blow up on um. Right look, yeah, look at that. See? Hey, what am I doing? Just do not enter. Oh, wait, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, my phone says yeah, go yeah, this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Get, turn, All right, go left. Go left on here? Yeah. All right, guys. The storm's ahead of us, too. Yeah, we're so. officially going west. Red River kind of messed us all up there. The current storm is still tornadic, guys. Take shelter. Still tornadic. Where's that? Right the now. The storm, yeah. That storm. There's a tornado on the ground with that storm right now, actually. We're too far behind it now. Yeah, pretty much. And then we can catch back up to it towards St. Yeah. Diego.
All right. So these guys are making the call. They're going west for this one here. They're going to uh, be looking at, <clears throat> they're going to be analyzing this storm. If we look at it on, on Echo Tops, which tells you how tall a storm is um, and thus how strong it is, this is a very tall storm uh, and it's getting bigger and bigger all the time. This storm is up to about 48,000 feet. But these storms, the ones they're leaving, these storms are over 60,000 feet. It's, yeah, this one's even over 60,000. Oops, excuse me. Over here. These ones are over 60,000. So it's a gutsy call. Um, we like a gutsy call here. Let's see if we get read back. They're still having some connectivity issues. If you look above me here, uh, it just seems to be a bit of a rough area down by the Red River. Um, let's see here. All right, this storm is headed still for Leon. It'll be there in uh, about half an hour. Looks like Reed and them are coming back now, so let's go back to them. Are they back? We'll go back to them as soon as they stabilize. So let's just animate a little bit and see how many... See the action bubbling a bit. And again, if we overlay the SPC area, it pretty much fits like a glove. So this is Reed's feet above us. They're still in a bad area, and they're in the heart of the that supercell. Um, almost back here. All right, I think they're good. Let's go back to the man of the hour here. Damage. Hold 
That's probably that deal. Oh, the mirror's gone. Side mirror's gone. Hold on, I'm a little bit. That freaking tornado, wow. Damn it. How do I roll these? I want them down. Oh, it's me! I'm trying to get the window down. You gotta press it down. Just hold it down? Yeah. Okay, walk up here. There we go, you're good. I may not have been recording. Right? I was. Big debris in front of us here. I'm gonna drive forward. Why? We gotta check on these car right here yes. in front of us on the road. Yeah, let's go oh. check on them. Car rolled, car rolled. Okay, well, that was um, that was uh, pretty crazy, and it looks like uh, I, I assume that that dog is okay. Uh, it looked like a trailer was had been flipped too, and this is um, this is where they are right now. Like you can see Reed's position right there. So that is um, stand by one sec. Oh, here they are. They're back. Oh, no, it's 
So this is the uh, this is the storm that they're on that uh, Hilton Ringling Wilson area. Um, so they are yeah right in the middle of this storm that's to the west of Ardmore. Um, that was uh, confirmed. There's a tornado there. Let's see what the uh, other. The other guys are doing here. Looks like everybody is in a bad area right now. Okay. There's a lot going on. decisions to make. We'll go east and, and stay out in front of everything and then we'll go south again. Yeah, I mean, this tornado is the one that's producing. See how it's all embedded in there? Everyone else is on the Red River. This is the one that's getting the extra shear from it, I think. It crossed that boundary and went berserk. That house is structurally okay. I was really worried the whole thing was going to lift in front of us. Yeah, that was right up there. We're buried up in this HP supercell storm, folks. Right up in there. We just did a uh, direct intercept of Dom 3 again. I couldn't. I saw you message me. Hey, we got water through the floorboard here, guys. Oh, you're good. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not running it. It's, I'm driving. it's still out of focus now. Yeah, I have to manually put it in the focus. It's a pain in the ass. How's that? Uh, you gotta hold up against the windshield and just press and hold the screen. Okay. We got water on the inside of the car. That's the problem. Yeah, that was my problem yesterday. I'm sorry. I should have slowed down for that. But all right, I just letting you know. Okay. Bye. I got the rag. There's a rag. We can wipe it down. Thanks. That's what I used to blow my nose there, like last five no, days. That's why oh. there's water in the car. Your window is down. I'm gonna try not to get you covered. Your feet covered. I think they didn't. I think we're just north of the. Yeah. We are in north of the. Yeah, which is. That was. Oh, we're in the circle. We were in the circle. It wasn't like a. Spalding where we got in. The thing to our north is still on the ground, guys. Can we go due east? We're doing that right now. Okay. Yep, Look east. at that. Yeah, we're heading east right now. All right, we're going back after it. Can't see that. I'll fix it. There you go. Thank you. You need me to drive, or are you having fun? <coughs> Put it back on there. Yep. Is it better now? Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know how you keep doing that. It's okay, right? We're here, we're not here. Oh, yeah. No, I have to replace it. 
focus it again. Okay. That tornado should be just to our east northeast. We'll be right over the road. Yeah, Matt Santa says footage of it hitting us, of us being inside. That it should be right in front of us. Three? Yeah, right in front of us. Copy. Oh, wow. That was Yeah, so while the other teams are moving along uh, a bit further to the south, Team Dominator is in. If you look above me, there's kind of a side by side look. Whoop. Gotta be kidding me with this. All right, we're going in for a little bit of more. Side by side. That's hilarious. I wonder if I got that video. Were you filming? <laughs> the whole time? Good job. I should have been running this. GoPro. Dang it. I didn't even think of the GoPro. Ah. I botched it. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so they, they are, if you look above me, they are like going after this circulation right here. This, this, this circulation right here. While this Bigger storm, you know, a lot of people were concentrated down here. Team Dominator was behind. They were in this, what they call an embedded uh, supercell because it's embedded in a larger storm. Um, and now they're, uh, they're going after that one that they just intercepted again.
get a trailer into the road. Yeah. That was very strong. That thing went a plant over that hole. Big problem. What's that? Oh, wow. 
Just jumping in here for a second. This is Reed's Twitter. This is live. This was at 15 minutes ago. Nice. And it sounds like they've recorded the data with the subsonic sensor too, at the drop of a hat. That's great. Awesome. Sure, Mark will be happy to hear that. Uh, but here it is. You can see that they're they're going in for another intercept here. But you can see their signal isn't great. 
but Reed posted this, so. Okay, and you can see above me here their signals out, but uh, it is going to come back soon. Let's zoom out here and see that Brandon is uh, so Brandon is doing a different strategy. He looks like he's headed, he's kind of heading west a bit. And we'll work on our communication a little bit here. But let's go to Brandon because Brandon's got a great picture right now. We will go back to Reed and Teen Dominator as soon as we get our picture back. It should be very soon. But here is Brandon. tornado damage like less than less than a mile from my house that's quite entertaining repositioning guys trying to reposition right now probably gonna have a lull for a little while so I'll be able to interact with chat more So you heard Brandon, he's repositioning. Brandon's a great chaser. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to fall back and um, reposition. But you also see that the Ridge Riders are coming back. I think I got a message from them saying that they, they, they canceled their big gamble of going west. And, yeah, it looks like from their position here, they have not gone west. So maybe they got some new information um, and decided to stick with the, uh, the plan of sticking with this cell uh, that Team Dominator's on too. And Brandon's just out here. He's repositioning. Let's see. Let's go back to Brandon for a moment.
So it's a little, obviously, uh, interference right now with the uh, Ridge Riders, but apparently the Ridge Riders have another tornado here. So there's a lot of tornadoes going on today, and it looks like Team Dominator is finally back. I will be paying close attention to the Ridge Riders to see if we get visual again. Uh, but for the moment, let's go back to Reed and Team Dominator. Just a tough time everywhere right now. Oh, Ridge Riders may be back. Tough area for some reception. All these chasers have what we call bonding technology. There we go. Maybe it's kicking in right now for the Ridge Riders. Too Gonna have to get in the notch. All right, let's wait to see when, once it stabilizes, I'll go back to these things. Uh, but let's go and look more at this storm right here. All right, so let's animate this. So that uh, those of you who are new, if you want to be able to uh, identify, you're looking for basically bright red next to you're basically looking for bright red next to bright green. This, not necessarily right here, but watch when, when I animate it. Again, we will go back to them shortly, but watch this. Let me go to this right here. So there, what you just saw was basically the life cycle of a tornado. And now it's very broad here, uh, but uh, you know, danger is not over. If you uh, have one of these tornado warnings, definitely get to shelter. Uh, if we look over on this uh, program and we're looking at what towns may be impacted, uh, Thackerville, Callisburg, Whitesboro, Oak Ridge, and let's see, these, these storms are moving at 30 miles an hour. That's an important factor when chasing. Because, um, you know, yesterday when we chased in Dixie, they were going 40 miles an hour, a little, a little tougher to keep up with. Um, but these are, they have their own challenges too, specifically the Red River that, that these things are about to jump. See this snaky thing right here. Looks very small on this program, but it is a big problem when you're chasing. You need to figure out the best crossing, and a lot of things can happen when a tornadic storm jumps a river. Um, maybe a little less so with the Red River because it's kind of oriented, well, generally east and west, but you know, Reed was <clears throat> Reed kind of has a loose theory that especially in Dixie Alley in the south, when a, a river is oriented north to south and wind can just rip up that river and a tornadic storm goes over it, that 
gives the ex- extra push to have a tornado set down sometimes. Um, so let's see. All these, all these chasers, what I was saying is they all have connectivity boxes. It's called uh, bonding technology. We have two T-Mobile cards, two AT&T cards, two Verizon cards. And we steal all of the data from all of the towers. Not steal, but <clears throat> we take all everything and we put it into one giant pipe. But sometimes even all of that isn't enough when there's just not service around. So we are, you know, we're investing in more and more and more uh, connectivity options. Uh, let's see, starting to get visuals from the Ridge Riders. Let's go to them. Look, we're behind the RFD. Is that why? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like Gainesville, it's gonna cross. Mm-hmm. All right, we want to let it do that. And yeah, then cross the road. See, and then and if this storm is still looking okay, we can go west. Yeah. Or if the storm's still looking great, we pretty sure the tornado we follow these. Uh, Oh, but I- 
So type in a different name on the on title. on the other side of the Red River. We're gonna go east side 35 and then cut a little bit south. Storm Chase mode. You get a direct uh, tornado intercept. Now, see the north side of the circulation. The core flow, those sub vortices, were just a little bit south. We had a northerly inflow jet streaming into the tornado, probably 80, 90 miles an hour. That was pretty right into the notch if there's another tornado like we just saw you guys will have a perfect visual of it we're going to go north in gainesville texas the storm is headed for gainesville texas we're in gainesville take shelter uh tornado warrant supercell bearing down within the next 20 minutes right now we don't have a visual of this thing uh, we lost it after we saw that tornado about 20 minutes ago we had no service i don't know if brian showed that you guys been posted on twitter 
but uh, besides that, we, we lost service, so we weren't able to stream that live. But tornado intercept number two on the day, we're going in for number three. Uh, hopefully this uh, waits until after Gainesville to produce. It's heading right for Gainesville. Not good. Take shelter, Gainesville. What's the radar look like? Uh, it's about the same. Hooking? Yeah, it has a hook on it. The, uh, it's keeping some like uh, ooh. it's keeping some weak, weak, weak couple. Yeah. We know nothing crazy strong, but nothing crazy there. But yep. Yeah. Could could do it again. Potential tornado on the ground heading towards Gainesville. We'll be on in ten minutes. Maybe less. Maybe yeah, maybe less. All I can see is rain. It's wrapped in rain right now. Yeah. Need to get in that notch. I can't. That's our view right now. Don't see much there. So while they sort out the right road, <clears throat> you heard their um, warning to Gainesville here, too, that this storm is headed right towards Gainesville. Um, so if you're in Gain uh, Gainesville, take shelter for sure. It's already been one very bad tornado today, Perryton. Um, <clears throat> and so these guys are... What they're doing is they're going right for this this notch right here. That's where the tornado is. So they're headed they're headed in that direction <clears throat> and they're trying to find the right road to get in there. And this is their tornado. This is on Ben Williams, uh the uh young young fella in the uh in the passenger seat. This is from his Twitter. So make sure you follow him. This is what they saw. This is what they saw when uh, when we didn't have signal with them. So they've seen two tornadoes today already. Uh, so there is a lot going on, and we're trying to track it all with all our chasers here. So we are, you know, we favor Reed for sure. This is his channel, after all. Um, but we know that we have connectivity problems. Also, another one of the connectivity things is there are tornadoes. A lot of times they knock out cell towers or the, the winds associated with it knock out cell towers. It seems like Team Dominator might be drawing close here. Let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, and thank you. I'm falling way behind on. Um, thank you to the <clears throat> memberships and thank you to uh, Grace Gilmore and Donna Falkenberg and always Jessica Ward. Tug Life, thank you. There's just, you might imagine there's a lot going on with the new setup. So, 
let's uh, let's jump to Brandon for a minute. We will jump back to reading them as soon as we as soon as this stabilizes. But let's jump to Brandon. I'll keep an eye on all streams and and well, we gamble. Let's go for it. No, we're not going to Team Dominator just yet. All right, off to Brandon. For you, thank you so much. For your donation. I have not updated my daily chase cost just yet, guys. I'm trying to uh, reposition right now. Looks like these storms up near Elk City are just booming southeast. Rapidly diving southeast right now. Oh, they're only moving at 35. They're not doing too bad. Find an exit, go ahead.
I can't get off of this highway. Red River Ripper. 
The Red River Ripper. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, back on me again. So they're closing in, and we'll go right back to them <clears throat> uh, shortly here. But a little update, excuse me, that the yeah the Ridge Riders are back, sort of in the uh, they're sort of by where Team Dominator is headed. And if we look at Brandon Kopic, he is. Brandon has gone west to that cell that the <clears throat> that the Ridge Riders were going to go to. So he went to this one over here. That's why you have such a clear view of that. Uh, but Team Dominator and the Ridge Riders are just going here. This Ridge Rider Ridge Riders warn this thing is going straight for Gainesville, Collinsville, Whitesboro. South made how, <clears throat> and they're going to be on it shortly here. So let's go back to Team Dominator. Yeah. 
train. I'm gonna be right on the north side of that rain. This is the feature, the white feature here. Right in front of us. It's trying, isn't it? Look at that wall tile guy. Slap it up there. There you go. A little bit of a bowl. It could be in there. It could be in there. Look at that white thing.
Hot Texas. circulation to the right northeast look at that guys look at that circulation oh yeah that's starting to rip we turn up here new one look at that some rising motion right up behind that light right behind the sign is this little motion nice yeah if you want to get around that sign look at that circulation hey good to see you Hanson. Man, it looks like that man. It's been the old one was way back there with rotating rain curtains. I can go around and get the out of that. Since you're not sure what yeah, that is. Very broad. Good. Rising sky to the back side of it. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Oh, you're right. You guys like those radar apps? Spent a little more. Oh. Uh, it looked laminar for a second. I was like, oh, is the bottom coming down? A bit now. It's got a little slot around it, doesn't it? A little bit. Cutting into this deal. Let's try to cut. I can give him a good deal if you want. Sure. Oh, 
almost done. <laughs> Terrible top of here. Your windshield wipers out. Huh? Oh, there we go. Tennis is terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, My hero, yeah. Mine is stuck pretty good. Might not work because I tried it. But <laughs> thanks for trying. I can pull over, over up here if you want. Yeah, that's fine. You guys have way too much stuff going on. <laughs> I'll drive this to victory. That can wait too. It's a no rush for that, so. No, we're good. I think that we probably peaked. Look at that left to right. There's some motion guys up to the left. Oh yeah, that's the wall climb. Let's see left to right there. 82. Okay, here we go. I don't, I'm not very good with color grading. Oh, you're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it just so? Oh, it might be up there, too. Yeah, I see that. White? Never. It's on left to right. Yeah. It's on the other side of that slot, too. It'd be up here on our left, right? Yeah. Could be up there. You're good to drive or drive? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You're not going to be able to get out for a while, are you? I'm not worried about it. She must have it when we turn the auxiliary off and back on. It seems to jump a switch. All right, this is that tornado. Rod siding the door. Yeah. <clears throat> so, just zooming out here. This is where uh, the Ridge Riders and Team Dominator are. They're about here and here. Um, and the Ridge Riders said they're now going 
West for real this time. Sounds like Team Dominator may do something similar, but Brandon Kopic is already on it, and look at that. That's happening already. This has a, a severe warning on it. It has a TVS, which is a Tornado Vortex signature, um, and the hail size of estimated around one inch. This thing is moving at 20 miles an hour. We do have Brandon Coppock closing in on it. So we'll jump to him for a few and go back to the Dom shortly. After this truck? Yeah. 
there's motion in that lower end. Look at that, right to left. Oh yeah, right down there. on the ground. Brian, if you hear me, tornado on the ground. It's on the ground. Tornado is on the ground over there. It is condensed on the ground. I can see it. The camera won't turn towards it. Son of I'm going to go. I'm booking it south. Take this road right here, and we're gonna go for an intercept. Is this the road? Yes, it is. Tornado on the ground, guys, right in front of us. The main funnel is directly above us, the ground circulation is right in front of us. This is such a weird storm. this road even. swirl but it's definitely tornadic in nature South. Why is the PTC camera not moving? Is it stuck? Is it choosing? No, it's moving. Now it's moving. I can't see the dust on the ground anymore guys but I did have a visual on it momentarily a, a minute ago definitely hit a circulation on the ground even if it was just briefly I can't see it now though hey look cows no. Hop 
out of the car. I need to try and maintain where the mezzo is if it is shifted. So they did just upgrade it to a third. Let's go south. They did just go observe tornado on it. Weather spotters confirmed tornado. There was definitely one on the ground. I can't see it now. There was one. I can see that right in the back. So we flip around. A stopped train on this road. What are the odds of that happening? <laughs> what are the odds of getting stopped by a train? That is actually pretty funny. Wow, there's a lot of syndrilical motion up there. It's definitely rotating. See it rapidly rotating up there. Look at all this vertical motion next to us. So that's one of the things that happens during storm chasing. You take maybe a, a dirt road, a risky road. Sometimes it turns out to be a private road and there's a gate. Sometimes, uh, I mean, I've never seen just a, a train just stopped on one of those roads. So Brandon's dealing with some bad luck, but the, <clears throat> the Ridge Riders are closing in on that storm from the, uh, they came from the original storm that they were on over here. And they charged west. So they're just about on that storm, as you can see here. Uh, Team Dominator, they have, they're having problems with the door. Um, they're figuring that out, so we're going to go to the Ridge Riders. The 
as long as it gets established, a little surface base, sand or dirt, it's gonna really do much. I mean, it might. So you heard Connor there, this one is, is strong. It does have something called a surface inversion uh, that it'll need to compete with. <clears throat> but this is tornado warned again, it's observed, Brandon observed it, uh, but uh, it's, also, it's also observed by National Weather Service. This is headed towards St. Joe, Bellevue. Um, you're in the warning box, so get into your safe place. Um, there's an outside chance uh, it could head towards Bowie. Um, so Bowie, be paying attention to this storm. You're not in a warning box just yet, but you may be soon. Um, looks like Brandon still has a visual of it. Let's go to him.
unbelievable. Wow. He's a beast. I want to stop right here and like get a good picture. Yeah. It's really cool. Post tight though. Wow, dude. Incredible. Sculpted supercell. Jeez, man. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> wow. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, you, you have to draw back south, but yeah, you get north. 
Apparently we had a tour, guys. Not sure where. Maybe it was a false report. Should have might have been a delayed tweet. It, it might have been from earlier. Oh, delayed tweet. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I they, think there was a tour. They got earlier. me. Yeah. All right, guys. Apparently that was delayed. No tour. Still a tight mezzo, a tight couplet. Right in front of me. I was thinking we're like, dude, that is a tight.
Yeah, it's super outflowy. Then we get out ahead of it for the structure show. Yeah. And then. Coming up. <laughs> no, don't go back in the oh, woods. He uh, he's he's kind of scared. PDS deer intercept. He's shy. Shy, shy. He might be right here. Uh. He gone. No way. You got over the fence. Yeah. Yep. He's gone. Good. Good. So goofy. Yeah. All these supercells, they've been goofy. Goofy. I don't know what they want to be. Probably took me down. No. Trash. Yeah, it's super outflow. You just want to get south and go for the structure. Nothing of interest. Just rain bands that are yep. circling around. All right, jumping in here, it seems like everybody's having connectivity issues. It seems like the Dominator 3 has, uh, it also has door issues, compressor, compress, compressor issues uh, going on um, that they're trying to get sorted out right now. Looking for Connor and Brandon here. It looks like Brandon, what is going on with him? Let's look at what's going on with this storm. Thank you. Uh, I loves chicken. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, this is the tornado warned storm that Brandon and the uh, Connor and the Ridge Riders are on. Uh, Connor and Ben. Uh, this is where it's headed to. It's headed towards Saint Joe. So Saint Joe, please be paying attention to this. You're not in the warning box yet, but you could be soon. Just looking to see the Ridge Riders are coming back now a bit, just about there. 
uh, but they gave us some pretty amazing images of that uh, incredible structure that was on the storm. So here is, let's look at, here it is right here. This is the storm. Let's change our, hmm. we're looking at it through different radar sites right now. This, this radar site, see there it is in the middle. This radar site, see there it is in the middle. They all give you different views of the storm. You get different clues. So this one is in a bit, bit of a tough spot. And as Brandon and Connor were saying before, this is a, it's a strange storm. And it looks like the Ridge Riders are just about back. Radar Wiley, yes, I'll uh, we'll text the, the merge information. It's still the soft opening. It's been a pretty rough uh, storm season, so every time we start dialing that in, uh, another outbreak happens. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave the link in chat. Navigate my gravel. I doubt it will be. He said, the gravel was thinking you're going like five miles. That's true. I kind of want to see the structure. That's RP. That's RP. Yeah.
going up there. Get a good visual of it. I think it's still to the south and east. Yeah, that's important. I'm just gonna continue on, on after.
Alright guys, once again, thank you so much for tuning in and smooshing that like and subscribe button. these tornado warnings but I'm seeing none. Oh you got that one ear Sherman. lightning.
probably going to continue east with these things until we get I-35 to get the truck back to north. Getting gas, Brian. Getting gas. No clue what's happening right now. Air code. Yeah. What? Go on stream. Give me like three seconds and then I'm going to show you something really cool. Stick with me, Brian. Ben, do you have the stream? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was, I was pointing at this looked more interesting. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's gorgeous. Man, look at that, look at that, look at that updraft, exploding. What? Brian says point out some features. Got a got an updraft base right here and you can see the anvil. Mamatis right there. A little popcorn looking clouds sticking down. Nice and pink from the sunset. Wow. Explosive updraft base, tornado worn storm. Ridiculous. Yeah. Storm's been a little odd. It's hard to discern any areas of rotation. It's really pretty though. That's Mamatis right there. Popcorn looking clouds. And you got this big updraft going up. We're on the back side. We're on the west side of this updraft. Let's look to the east. You can see it. It's exploding. Let's get east of this thing again. Right. Let's go. Wow, That's cool. That's, That's pretty cool. 
Got some nice pinks there too. See. National Weather Service says still a threat for tornadoes and damaging wind throughout the evening. Sometimes you just look at it and you know it's not gonna tornado. Yeah, that's how I feel about this storm, but. It's kind of what I'm looking at here. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Let me look a little bit. I mean, it just like doesn't have the look. What is happening to the east? <laughs> the super soul just took over? Bro, what? Along the, yeah, yeah. near Lake Kiowa? Huh, this one looks like it's off the boundary. Which one? This one. Ours? Way off the boundary. It's not sagging south anymore. Yeah, our best bet I think is to get way south of all these. Like Denton. Like Denton. Low key. Yeah. Do you disagree? No. I don't think this one's gonna do it. I was thinking for this one, you either gotta get on the backside like this structure right here, or you gotta get way out ahead of it. And More Super Soul Fujiwara is probably gonna produce to the east. Can't get there. No. That came out of nowhere. Seems off the boundary. Yes, yeah, so just updating you guys. Yes, Team Dominator is offline. <clears throat> they drove 800 miles, got a tornado in Georgia. They drove 800 miles to Oklahoma, and they got a tornado there. Um, and uh, now their vehicle is giving out a little bit. Um, so they're offline, but we're going to stick with uh, stick with these guys for a while. And if you want to get to know them as chasers, we invite you to stick around and um, also follow them too. You can check out their information uh, in the links in the description. And uh, this map that we're using, Highway and Hailstones, it's a great, great app for storm chasers to share their journey. Let's go back to the Ridge Riders because they're interesting. I'm interested to see how they chase. Let's go down. Maybe it'll be sunlit. Well, it's almost where we're running. I think we're running out yeah. of daylight, actually. I think it's about nighttime. Yeah. So, what am I doing? South, I assume. Yeah. So, turn right. Almost says we're going the wrong way. Bruh. Denton. Denton. Denton, Texas. <laughs> I saw that. I probably just added Ben and didn't finish Williams. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. You you added some random person. And ben, whoever just Ben is on Twitter is getting a beautiful. Who took took that? Whoever took that yeah. name, man. Yeah. All right, where do we go? All right, bro. Give me, just give me the road, bro. Uh, I mean, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Go north. Yeah. No, I feel like south. Do you want? It says this is the fastest route to Denton. Then I have to go through the core. I put in the fastest route to Denton. Let me see. Let me see. Doesn't show a second route. Let me put it in. Put it in. Do you see? Okay. Oh, it does. So this is this is a fifteen extra minutes. Bro, it's the straightest, right here. Just take me on this route, bro. Right here. So I gotta go. Take me down. Put that one in. That's the one I put All in. All right. Put that one in. That's what I put in, but it's not good okay, enough. Okay, okay, it's good enough. It's good enough, bro. I thought it was taking me north. I didn't want to go north. Three miles. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know, bro. I had no idea how long it was gonna be. Going for the nighttime structure show, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. The three might be ending. I don't know. It's still a lot of severe weather, so I doubt that doubt it is. Apparently, it's just us and Copic. Really? I don't know. I'm down 30s down. Reed probably, Reed probably got a hotel and went to bed. Dude. It's bro, hard to stream at dude, night time. Bro's been up for like 48 hours straight. He got like two naps. That's in. true. He's an animal. Dude, big animal. And had that close range. Right. That tornado twice, was weird, twice. dude. Yeah, twice. Yeah. It like it like condensed for like two seconds and then like went back up. Yeah. That was that was crazy. 
on that on that mega HP. Mm -hmm. He was in like probably the only spot you can see. So sirens going on. Got sirens, Brian. We've been plagued by cold, fast, RFD. and strong RFD. Right? Left, straight. All right. Back in town. Oh, just kidding. Now I go this way. Eat some. Eat some. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Turn. Okay. Turn right again, right here. We're just gonna do a little loop. All right. And we're gonna come back. All right. Now what? Uh, keep going, keep going south, and then turn in on point three. Uh, Okie dokie. <laughs> Goofy ass route. Stupid. So this is the kind of road routes Ben Williams gives you, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's Apple's. <laughs> it's Apple's fault. Blame Apple. Blame Apple. It's not my fault. It's kind of hard to stream at night. Yeah, though. I know. It's really hard. Siren blaring still. Yeah? Let's see if we're on the stream. Where's my route here? Left? Left, left. Bro, what are you doing to me? Alright. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Turn, turn right, turn right now. Turn right. We're fine. And then turn left right here. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now I'll see it for it. Oh, tornado warning got canceled. Right. I'm not surprised because no, it looked no, like no longer tornado warning. It looked here. like hot garbage. Hey, 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 hey! Garbage for, is, for tornadoes. For garbage tornadoes. Is good. It looked nice for um. It looked nice for a uh, structure. Are we on? Uh, see. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big time RFD with this, guys. Yeah. That has plagued our storms all day. Cold outflow RFD. Rear flank downdraft. Rear flank downdraft. Wraps around the south Simil side of the storm. Similar to that outflow we talked about a lot. Rear flank downdraft wraps around the back side of the storm. Then inflow wraps around the front end, and that's where you get those tornadic circulations. Like you spin. The inflow has not been strong enough to counteract that outflow, so we've seen outflow dominant storm for the most part. And obviously, we've had a couple spin ups today, but, but uh, that thankfully, that is preventing a much bigger day. That, yes, uh, that all, bigger tornado risk. Wet RFD, a lot of rain wrapped tornadoes today. But overall, what a fun chase it's been. Trying to get south now. Trying to get south to see the structure on the storm. It could look pretty good. Trying to get south now. Gonna get some great structure for you guys. Diving south to get structure. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Team Dominator, NFL Red Zone, in effect. <laughs> Multiple tornado intercepts today. You're not going to find a better storm chase. I think all of us intercepted. Think all, pretty close, pretty close, especially all, Reed. All three teams on the stream intercepted close range tornadoes today. Num number one storm chasing stream. Put up, can you type in restream for me on my phone? Let's read some chat. All right. Diving south, guys. We're going to get some nice structure. Hopefully, we get some good lightning out of this as well. Oh. Just mute it, bro. Just mute it. <laughs> what, is, what did Brian say? Bro, what are you doing? Bro, YouTube. <laughs> just chill. Has ads. Has just, ads. Just chill. Just, YouTube has ads. Just chill. Ads. Just chill. Just chill. <laughs> My lord. Okay. All right, you read the, reading the chat? No, I'm reading what Brian told me. Oh. ET on the structure shot. Uh, we should get a good visual of this in, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, 20 minutes-ish. So you get a backlit... 20, 30 minutes. Backlit shot similar to what we just showed you guys. Uh, we have that raw updraft in the background. Might be in front of it, actually. Yeah. So she'll get a good structure shot in about 20 minutes right when that sun's going down. Yep. So ET on that's about 20 minutes, Brian. Then tur towards Forestburg and eventually down towards Denton. Yep. Keep ahead of the storm. Forsberg, in the long term, uh, this is heading towards the northern Dallas metro. 
What was that, Brian? <laughs> Brian, Brian. We're in the chat here. It's gonna be All dark right. in 20 All minutes. Right. It's already dark. All right, guys. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be wrapping up the stream. Oh, yeah. Wrapping up the stream for the night. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a fun, a long stream today. Like I said, multiple tornado intercepts. All right, guys, you can follow me and Ben. Our links are down in the description, okay? I'm chasing with Connor on YouTube. And then I'm also chasing with Connor. All right, you heard it. it. It's getting very dark. We won't be able to see much. All teams had success today. Um, but uh, Perryton looks like it was a very, very bad scene today. So our thoughts are with uh, those affected by it. And um, and uh, on the, the brighter side, we got, we got some new guys, some young guys uh, kind of in the movement, helping get the word out and everything. So... Thank you guys very much for uh, uh, challenging but new stream, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you maybe tomorrow. Uh, we still have a couple more days, so um, look for Reed's Twitter, and we'll see you soon. Never stop chasing. Good night, guys.